Hello Market Club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. It's Monday. It's the 9th of November and we're looking at a stock we think could be a harbinger of things to come. The stock is Macy's. Now you may remember the Macy's Day Parade. Big, big event. Lots of glitz, lots of glamour. But maybe the business of Macy's itself is not doing so well. Let me explain what I mean by that. If you look back, this is a chart, close only chart going back to 2009. This is the kind of like the low point of the recession or the mini recession, whatever you want to call it. From that period, Macy's did nothing but go up from, let's say, we'll call this $10, even though it was lower than that, up to 70 now, was that really warranted or was it just fueled by inexpensive QE money, a false sense of prosperity? But the one thing that's happened now is that we have this trend line. As you can see, we need the three points. We've got the three points right here. And it looks as though it just broke down below that area, indicating a potential for this market to even slip lower. Can, how low could it go? Well, how about we go down to 25 or maybe even 20? It's very, very possible. I think the problem with all bricks and mortar stores right now, which is not an unusual or unique thought, is the fact they're getting killed by the internet. People can buy things on the internet. It's easier to shop at home. If you don't like it, send it back. It just saves a lot of time. And I think a lot of traditional stores like Macy's, Walmart, you name it, are going to have a very, very difficult time. And it's reflected in the stock prices. This is a breakout of the trend line, and potentially it could go still lower. I'd say, I would say the 25 level is not out of the question for this stock. Remember, just going back to here, we're talking this is July, October of 2011, so it's not that far off. So let's see how that plays out. But again, the stock is Macy's. The symbol is M. You can see it's been old stock. It only has one letter for a symbol. And you can see this is a long-term chart. Let's just clear this off quickly and put our monthly trade triangles on. You can see we have a signal right here at 62.80 on August 14th. So it's not like we're just late in the game. We determined based on our trade triangle technology that the market's going down. Now we also had a signal today at 47.10. It's 46.40 right now that the resumption, the downward resumption of trend has continued. So it still looks like we can see this market going down. You've got a minus 100, a strong downtrend likely to continue. Looking at the Dow right now, you can see we've talked about this before in terms of the resistance level we saw for this market right around here. And it's still very much in play. I did not expect to see the Dow just take off and go through these levels. It's technically would be extraordinarily unusual. And it would be extraordinarily usual to do this for a indices. But look what's happening. We're still plus, you know, it's still the trend is still positive, even though today's pullback, which is quite severe, it still hasn't changed the overall direction of the market. So we may see a little bit more backing and filling, and we may see reversal from here. So I want to watch the weekly trade triangle very closely and see that that doesn't come into a red triangle, which would mean exit, stay on the sidelines. Same formation, same pattern in the S&P 500. We talked about this, the resistance level. We saw it was right here, and we just bumped right into it. Nothing going through. You did have an outside day here confirmed. So I think this is definitely going to be a little top that we see for a while. And I think we'll see this market come back down and do a little bit back in filling, possibly even to the 2000 level. I wouldn't rule that out. Same sort of resistance area for the NASDAQ. Again, 55 there. It's a trading range. It never did turn positive. Remember that? So we have a trading range with a 55. I think that's the best way to look at this market right now. Crude oil, just really nothing going on there. All the trade triangles are negative, indicating lower levels. I think that's the only thing I can say. It's really been in a very broad trading range if you look at this from here, really to here, and even to here. So I think, generally speaking, I would rather be short than long right now. There's no reason to get excited about this market one way or the other. Now, the euro dollar, we said the market would go down to the 108 level. We certainly got there and lower. Uh, we 108 to 107, so we're very close to where the market should be finding support, in our opinion, and I think it will. So let's uh, see how that plays out for the next few days. But we do have a strong downtrend, minus 85. Now, this is one of the stocks we talked about last week, Taiwan Semiconductor. Uh, generally speaking, we think this stock is still going to go higher, and here's the reason why. We talked about this before, is the fact that you really have a nice trend line here. You have a, sort of a nice base going here. We've sort of broken over there. has the potential, I think, of going quite a bit higher. 
this pullback we've seen today and certainly on uh, Friday. 22.78 is a buy point. It's 22.73. I think this is an ideal place to be a buyer right here. I think the risk is very small. Uh, maybe a buck and a half. Uh, let's just see how that plays out. But I would rather be a buyer than a seller of the stock right now. T connectivity, same pattern there. You've got a nice sort of base you're building from. Nice sort of trend line going, going across this period right here. And you can see that the breakout, positive breakout, I think any kind of further pullback and weakness in the stock, I'd rather be a buyer. 64.92 was our original buy point. The trend change, it's 65.90. So another dollar down in the stock, I would be a buyer as opposed to a seller. We're above the positive line. We have a 90 plus trend. So again, I like the way this looks longer term. Here's another stock that we like. We haven't talked about this before. This is Boston Scientific. BSX is the symbol. And you can see how it's just made the turn. Very strong up move. The monthly kicked in at 18.11. We're currently trading 18.58. I think we stabilize around here a little bit. I still think we can go higher. See this market over the 20, 21 level. I would not be out of, out of the question in my opinion. So let's see how things play out. But uh, we certainly have a little bit of a pullback today in the markets. And uh, I think that's a healthy thing. But uh, again, it's pulling back from major resistance in the Dow and the NASDAQ and the S&P. Hey, I'm Adam Hewison. I'll be back. So thanks for watching. Every success.